Now let's walk through a 504 case study for a student that might benefit from a 504 plan and accommodations and modifications to help them perform in school. I'll leave you to read this case study in detail, but I want to point out a few elements of the law within this case study or the way a few elements of the law might be applied for this child. So this is James Gray and he is a 10th grade student. He was in a horrible car accident and he's going to be returning from the hospital to school. Um, if you have kids who are transitioning between school and hospital, it's not unlikely that they will have a 504 plan because they may be kids who have um, problems that are going to be ongoing. Um, he had surgery on his right wrist and right leg and they had to remove one of his kidneys and uh, he'll be seeing a physical therapist over time and while he's at school. Now take a look at this. Medical doctors um, and therapists expect it will take him at least nine months to recover and he'll be using a wheelchair for at least six months. 504 has somewhat unfairly been pigeonholed as a short-term IEP. It's really more than that. It can be kid for kids who have long-term problems and it can be for kids who have problems that could come and go like in multiple sclerosis where symptoms will will abate and then return. Right? Um, but by statute or regulation the impairment of a child has to be expected to last at least about six months. Okay? If, if a child's impairment is likely to be for a period of time that's shorter than six months and not likely to come and go, then a 504 plan may not be right for them. Also note that James has not been referred for special education services. Prior to the accident, he was passing all his classes, and last year James scored proficient in state assessments. One of the big differences between 504 and IDEA is that in 504 um, we don't necessarily have to consider whether or not the disability specifically affects their educational performance. 504 is more broad in terms of the effect or the impact of the disability. It's the impact on the disability of the disability or the impact of the impairment on a major life activity that then causes a child not to receive a free and appropriate public education. So the focus of both IDEA and 504 are on a free and appropriate public education. Also notice that uh, the special education teacher in this case is the 504 coordinator in the school. Every school will have a 504 coordinator for the school and that person probably is going to be located at the school or it may be an itinerant um, in some districts. It could be the special education teacher, could be a counselor, could be a school psychologist, could be a school nurse, um, it could be an itinerant. So it depends on how the district does their staffing but somebody is going to be in charge because somebody has to take the referral on this student. Somebody has to call the meeting. Somebody has to get everybody together. And somebody has to be responsible for filling out all the paperwork and making sure that they follow up and that the 504 is implemented. The next thing we'll do is take a look at an actual identification form and see how 504 the requirements under 504 um, can become part of a form that a group of people can use to make determination.